In the past couple of weeks, us commentators of the games industry have been widely appalled by the news from the creators of Cyberpunk 2077 about their team crunching to release the game. But apparently, former Rockstar employees now employed by CD Projekt don't even call the schedule their crunch, based on their own experience back with the creators of Red Dead Redemption. Granted, since the initial reports have blown up, the company has taken active steps to grant full-time contracts to outsourced workers that were crunching, and other employees reported generally good experience. More recently, however, Rockstar Games has been accused of what amounts to tax evasion. I could not believe the numbers. Tax Watch UK reports that Rockstar claimed and received a whopping 37% of the overall video games industry tax relief, amounting to nearly 40 million pounds in 2019 alone. Altogether, Rockstar avoided about 80 million pounds in tax via the program and has not paid any corporation tax in the last four years. What's interesting is that the company has finally responded with claims of benefiting UK by employing people. They're not doing that out of the kindness of their heart, of course. These workers create profit. Quite a profit indeed. GTA 5 is the most profitable entertainment product of all time, with $6 billion in revenue. Sure, let's just get rid of the National Health Service, schools, roads, just have jobs. Many, many jobs. That will fix it. The boss's kids go to private school anyway, probably. Innit? Look, Rockstar are not the only ones to blame. Yuki, the lobbyists for the industry to whom Rockstar pays membership fees, are enabling such behavior. I don't know, maybe I'm old fashioned that I have the view that if you can't do business without paying taxes, you're just bad at doing business, so it should stop. Big company or small, but fine. Okay, granted, this tax relief scheme does seem to help out a lot of indie studios, as it should. Surely, though, there must be a level of recorded profits after which you begin to pay back the money. If Rockstar paid its share of taxes and got rid of crunch, it would incur only a small dent in the profit margins. Their choice is political. Our response must be political too. Support the workers of the company, but give the company's PR hard time. Rate their games according to the production choices and corporate culture. Finally, read about the Lucas Plan, a framework suggesting empowerment of workers in the big tech sectors. The world doesn't have to be like this. I have to remind myself that every day, but it's true. We can and will do better. You just watched Left Left Up with me, Marianne Dejgalvita. Speak soon. Bye.